When Graham lost his voice, I said to all my friends and family, get a recording of your husband or boyfriend, because my God, did I miss that, that good night. I love you. That was horrendous, not having his boys. <laughs> The most frustrating thing for Graham at the moment is that people are treating him like he's brain dead when he's not. The key thing is that he can say just a quick statement whenever the urge comes across. Yourself, just like at home. But we need <laughs> 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 I love it. You're not supposed to throw stones at the video camera. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Eve. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be great for game. <laughs> that is a strong <laughs> look. Dad, say something. I'm knackered. A quick flash. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's naughty. It is so naughty. Yay! Ready? Three, two, nice looking at these lovebirds. It's just amazing to actually see what he's really like. Of what he used to be like. Yeah, he's but still he's, still, like, he's just still there. Just he can't get it out. Yeah. Quarter to one, and I think I've written the code. I definitely felt a very, very strong emotional connection to this story. You could be like your dad or your brother or anyone. We found clips of you and your own voice from the home videos that we've dug out of the attic so that they're actually you. We went through about 50 hours of footage. <laughs> it was really nice for us, actually, to hear you speak and see you move, and that was really great. All right, Graham, over to you, I guess. I'm going to do sorry. <laughs> Oh, what do you think, President? <laughs> I'm here. I don't care what you say. Have a well earned rest <laughs> and a drink. Thank us, guys. See you tomorrow? Yeah. I love you, Zoe. <laughs> See you tomorrow? <laughs> 